Okay, so this looks like a really simple question, but it's not that simple. If you have a look at the triangle itself, the problem we have with it is to work out the um, area, we do the base times the height. But the problem is we haven't really got uh, a base and a height that are at right angles to each other. Okay, and you, a base and a height must be at right angles. So we can't really use that method at all. So we've got to find a different method for doing it. Well, you could say, well, we, let's count the squares, but a lot of the squares are kind of fractions of squares that we don't quite know. The way I'm going to do this, and if you've got a different way it gives you the right answer, stick with it, is I'm going to work out the area of the square, uh, so the, the whole thing, and I'm going to take away the area of the triangle A, B, and C. So when I do that, it leaves that triangle in the middle. So if you have a look, there are little triangles. So triangle A is this one here. So there's little triangles around it. So this is triangle A here. Triangle B is this one. Not done a very good job with that. Let's try again. So triangle B is this one here. And then triangle C is this one here. Now you need to be quite good at being able to remove the bits you don't want to get the bit you do want um, and that's quite a common theme with these kind of questions. So I'm going to work out the um, areas of each of the triangles. So uh, triangle A and um, the area is where it's two squares across and four squares up so it's half of that says so half times the base which is 2 times the height which is 4 so that's going to be 4 triangle B the area is uh, so it's half times the base which is 2 because it's 2 across and the height which is 2 because it's 2 squares up so that's going to be 2 and then triangle C uh, the area is going to be half times the base, which is 4, times the height, which is 2. So that's going to be 4 as well. Now the total area, the, the square area, is just 4 times 4. So that's the whole thing, which is obviously 16. Okay, so the area of the triangle Okay. is the square take away the bits we don't want so take away triangle A, B plus C so the square is 16 and we're going to take away the bits we don't want so that's 4 plus 2 plus 4 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so 16 take away 10, and that leaves 6. So the answer is 6. Now there might be other ways you can do this. Um, the most common wrong method for this question is working out the area of the square, which is 16, and then halving it to make 8. That would work if, for instance, and I'll, I'll draw it on here, if you had a triangle like this, that would work because if you have a look the um, height is there and the base is here therefore they are at right angles so that would work for that Ooh. there we go um, but unfortunately there's there's no way of doing that method for this question um, and so you've kind of got to find the total area find the bits you don't want and take them away and it leaves the bits you do want.